Here's how to use bank products with Crosslink 1040. Generally speaking, a bank product is a service provided by a financial institution that serves as an optional way for your taxpayer to receive their tax refund. Without bank products, taxpayers are limited to receiving their tax refund either as a check, mailed by the IRS, or a direct deposit to the taxpayer's bank account. Plus, taxpayers have to pay their tax prep fees out of pocket or owe the tax office money. While there are fees associated with opting to use a bank product, there are benefits as well. With bank products, your customers don't have to pay for tax prep fees out of pocket. All of your tax prep fees will be handled by the financial institution. Your fees are automatically deposited to your bank account, and the taxpayer will receive the remainder of their tax refund, minus certain fees. In most cases, taxpayers receive their refund in less time when using a bank product. And with bank products, you'll be able to offer additional disbursement options. Your customers can choose to pick up their refund check from your tax office as a direct deposit to their bank account or in the form of a prepaid or cash card. Finally, keep in mind that the option to provide bank products is completely integrated into Crosslink 1040. There aren't any recurring or maintenance fees, and since fees are charged individually, you can sign up to offer bank products and only use them when necessary and when desired by the taxpayer. Additionally, you can benefit from increased revenue through add-on fees, but more on that later. To sign up to offer bank products, begin by logging into your account on crosslinktax.com. Once logged in, we recommend that you review the add-on fee agreement prior to beginning the bank enrollment process. To do so, hover your mouse cursor over the Support tab and then click Manage Account. Here, you can enroll to use add-on fees under the Add-on Fee Agreement section by selecting Yes in the drop-down box and entering where you'd like to receive the checks for these add-on fees. You can also scroll down and enroll to provide additional services at your tax office, such as Protection Plus, Refundos Audit Protection, and Call a Doctor Plus. Keep in mind that these additional services don't cost you anything, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact your Crosslink account manager for details. Be sure to click Save at the bottom of this page in order to move on to bank enrollment. Begin by hovering your mouse cursor over Office Management and then click ERO Enrollment. From the ERO Enrollment page, click the Add EFIN button found on the top right. The first page you'll need to complete is the EFIN Setup page. Begin by clicking the User ID drop-down box and select your user ID. Next, type your EFIN here and select Master EFIN as the EFIN type. Then complete the fields in the EFIN Holder Information section. If you would like to save the information you entered here and use it to fill out other sections throughout this application, be sure to select the Copy to Save Contacts checkbox below. This will make filling out other sections of this application much easier. Click Save to move on to the next page. Use the Bank Deposit Information page to enter your bank account information. The bank account entered here is where your tax prep fees will be deposited. Click Save to continue. Now it's time to select which financial institution you'd like to partner with in order to provide bank products. Select the bank you want to apply with using the drop-down menu and then click Create Bank Application. Complete the office information and address information pages. Remember that you can use the Copy from Save Contacts button to populate these fields with the information you entered and saved previously. On the prior year stats page, you'll need to enter how many bank products you offered last tax season. If you don't have experience offering bank products, that's okay too. The fee information page is where you enter any add-on fees you'd like to charge to provide a bank product per tax return. You'll receive these add-on fees in the form of two checks throughout the tax season, one check in July and the other in November. And depending on which financial institution you're applying with, you may also need to select the programs you'd like to participate in, for example, prepaid or cash card options. Some banks will also require you to complete a security questions page to make sure that your tax office meets certain security requirements. This page is full of good practices that your office needs to follow in order to provide bank products with the financial institution. After reviewing and completing the terms and conditions page, simply click the submit bank application button to submit your application to the financial institution. You can review the status of your bank application here on the ERO enrollment page. Once your application is approved, and once you confirm your bank selection, you'll be able to start using bank products with Crosslink 1040. If your customer wants to use a bank product for their tax refund, go to Form 8879 and type 5 in the Refund Type box. Option 5, RT Banks, 
is used specifically for bank product funded tax returns. Once you enter 5 in the refund type box, the bank application form or bank app will be added to the tax return. If you can't see it right away, click the refresh button on the toolbar. Then complete the bank app with the required information. After you transmit the tax return and receive an approval from the IRS, the bank will take care of the rest. If you have any questions, we recommend that you either contact the bank that you'd like to apply with, or of course, you could always contact your Crosslink account manager for more help.